Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Lord. God, with tonight, Lord, God, allow your people to be edified. You be glorified. God. God, we thank you for all that will be said and done on this live. Father, let it touch the heart of someone yes, God, that needs to hear from you, that needs instruction, that needs direction. Someone, Lord God that is standing in need of you, God, allow this live to be able to bless them, bless their spirit. Father, yes, we pray that, um, Jesus, that you would allow us to articulate like that. they would be yes, able Lord. to be blessed, God. We thank um, you yes. for all that's going to be done. We thank yes, you for God. all that will be said. We thank you for all thank who will you. be blessed. We thank you, God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. That you will be glorified, God. We stand behind yes. the cross, God, and we yes, allow God. you to be glorified. Yes, Jesus. Jesus, God, we thank, thank you, Jesus. God, because thank you are God. the only one, Lord God, that we look to. You are the source of our strength. Yes, you are Lord. the strength of our life, God. Hallelujah. And we Hallelujah. bless you for doing it on tonight, God. Do it again, Jesus. We allow you to do yes. it again, God. Hallelujah. Have your perfect way in us, through us. And on this live, God, we thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, we thank God today. Uh, I know we had some kind of technical problem, but um, all is well. Let's all continue. And we're going forward. I'm just going to set it up right. Let me see where we're at now. Am I am I coming clear now? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Good? You can hear me? All right. Thank God for those that are on and those that are coming on. We believe God for it. Listen. We praise God because God is our all and he is our all and we thank him for being amen our all. Yeah. I need to tag somebody. Tell somebody we are on. Tag somebody. Let them know that we are on uh, because of the weather. We are on this way. But uh, we thank God. God is worthy yeah. of praise. And so if you tag somebody, text somebody, call somebody, tell them, come on on. We are on. Oh, glory God. Okay. Thank you, Lord. I'm glad to have uh, those that are somebody telling me they're trying to get on with just, I don't know what to tell them. It might be the weather. If you can hear me, it might be the weather. So do the best you can. I'm doing the best I can from where I am. Okay. So boost, can I boost it a little bit, son? Just leave it alone. Yeah. It just said boost a post. That's why I'm asking you. Should I do it? Okay, let's leave it alone then. All right. I'm just trying to get clear. It's not that often that I do it. This next. Okay, share. I'm going to hit the share button, though. Let everybody know. Share now. Come on on. Okay, post it. Share on. I need y'all. Okay, Alice, I see Alice is watching. All right, Miss Alice, I see Stephanie Reed, Mary Ray, Francis Dudley, Gail Henderson. Gail, I got your message. I got your message. Gail likes us to be on every Tuesday like this, but I don't know about that. I'm the, I need to see faces, but Gail, I'm on. I got your message. I meant to hit you back from last week, uh, but I'm on. We're on tonight, Gail. The Lord must have heard your prayer. Amen. And then who else is this? Uh, Pat Jackson. Uh, yeah, Francine. Okay, Jane. Tootie. Okay. I see you on. Oh, yes. I see you on. That's beautiful. Come on. Hit somebody else. I need some more people to come on. I need some more people to come on. Amen. Uh, amen. Okay. I see you. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I see you. Now, here goes somebody always going to be the odd person. Who's this? I'm not saying you are Miss J. Moore. I just don't try to say what you want. Okay, I want you to please, Bishop, pray for the family that got shot. Well, we just talked about that. Uh, the school guard that got shot uh, Saturday, he used to go to our church. He used to come to our church. The school uh, guard that got shot, I think I was asking Jordan. That's Mary Moore, Elder Mary Moore, uh, her daughter. Uh, they used to date, and um, he's a school guard. He got shot Sunday night on the train, and um, and there's so much going on, so much, so much 
so much going on, so much is happening. Amen. And so we're just in prayer. So much is happening. I was just talking to Elder. I was just talking to Elder about we're going to. Okay, I see you, Francis. Uh, I see. You. I see you. Yeah, I was just talking about we're going to try to get her son into the PAL. Uh, we got mommy net about Elder's uh, grandson as a PAL that I know he could be a part of by the police department. So we can get him, keep him busy. I, I, well, my father used to have a say, uh, uh, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Yeah. My father's say. Now funny. I know you're, you keep talking about your father. Well, I wish you had one like mine. So I keep telling you. But he said, you got to keep him busy. You yeah. Keep him busy. Because they got you. Yeah. We get tired, quick, but they don't. <laughs> so I just tell telling Jordan, because Jordan used to play for the PAL out here. And they always mm. have spin in the summertime. And they have special trips you go on when you, you know, you get certain grades, you mm. go on special trips free. A lot of things that as exposed to our young people. And so I just told Jordan, but Jordan would forget just like I forget, but Nick, I think you got a little <laughs> your mind is a little better than mine. And then that's but her grandson, we just we were talking about her grandson Sunday Nick. Uh, her mm. grandson, nice guy energy. Gonna put him to gonna put him to work with uh, 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 Pastor Bobby. So you start working cameras and stuff, stuff like that. Because mm -hmm. I felt like I had that night, Friday night, helping work with the cameras. Mm -hmm. That's what you people to work. Because they, don't mind, they wouldn't mind coming to church, but just sit up in church for three hours, they ain't going to do it. But yeah, we thank God we are on tonight again. Tell somebody we are on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We're hitting a little bit tonight. Uh, Hebrews, the 10th chapter. Uh, I'm doing better than I thought I was. I'm doing better than I thought I was. Kind of put that toe, Jordan, and put that out to y'all. I always like to have a scripture uh, underlined so we know where we're going. He says, let us hold fast to the profession of our faith without wavering. For he, it is he that is faithful that promise. One thing we know about God, if us, we know that he's faithful. Everything that God promised us, he is faithful. And that's what that word is. Amen. Let us hold fast to the profession of our faith without wavering. And if there's any doubt, the doubt is on us and not God. And so we want to do that. But in these times, in these times, in these times, these times, what I want to do, first of all, I want to pray for single parents. I want to pray for single parents. I've been kind of, kind of been in my spirit of yeah, I'm not there. Yes, yes, you I see you. I see you. I want to pray for single, single parents, whether it be parents, grandparents. Elder Rockford, I want you to lead us in prayer in a few minutes with all single parents. All Thanks. single parents. I want you to pray. Let's start off with prayer with all single parents. Elder Rockford, would you do that for us today now? Yes, sir. Father God, in the name of Jesus. First of all, we ask that you forgive us of any sins that we've committed knowingly and unknowingly. Father, we do this so that we can come boldly before the throne of grace with clean hands and a pure heart. Lord, we're lifting up single parents tonight, Father God. We're lifting up these single parents, God, and we're asking you to provide everything that they need, Father God. Jehovah Jireh, you are our provider. Father, even as I sit here, I'm looking at my situation and I'm a single parent. So Father, I'm asking you, God, to make the way out of no way, Father God. I'm asking you to keep the single parents, the mothers or the fathers or the grandmothers or the aunts or the uncles, whoever they may be, Father, keep them, encourage God, and provide everything that they would need so that their parenting will be effective, Father God. Allow them to, to ask questions if they don't know and seek out the help that they may need for their child. Father, I'm asking you to look down upon the children, God, that may be in that single parent home. And I'm asking you, Father God, to just let your unity abide inside the homes, God. I'm asking you to let the children be obedient. But God, I'm also asking you not to let the parents to provoke the children. Father, we need you right now like never before, Father God, because there's a lot going on. But Father, you are the author 
author and you are the finisher of our faith, God. And we're going to hold on to you. We're going to trust you, God. We're going to lean on you, God. And we're going to use the faith the size of a mustard seed, God. Even if we don't see it yet, God, we're going to stand on your word. Even if we don't feel it yet, God, we're going to stand on your promises, Father God. You said in your word, you will never leave us or forsake us. And you said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. So we thank you right now, God, for how you're going to build up the homes, God, how you're going to build up the characters of these young men and women, God, that they won't be on the streets, God, doing anything negative. Make a way that these young people kids can get jobs, God, and they can be just, just happy and pleased with themselves, Father God. And most of all, God, let love abide in the homes. Let love abide, God. We thank you. We thank you for what you're going to do. We thank you for what has been done already, God. We thank you that these youths will grow up and they will come to you, Father God. They will get to know you, God, and their parents will get to know you, God, so that they can run their home according to your statutes, according to your love, according to your peace, your joy, and your understanding. Father, let them have wisdom. You said those that don't have wisdom, let them ask God. In yes, the mighty Lord. name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for this opportunity to yes, bring Lord. your single parents to the throne of grace and the children to the throne of grace. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, we thank, thank God for that prayer. We thank God for the prayer for, for single parents because you, I'm telling you, um, I get calls and so forth about doing this and this the bottom line, the church has to step up. The church has mm -hmm. to step up. Now, let's look at this little text. I love it. Let us hold fast to the profession of our faith without wavering, uh, for it is he's faithful that it promised. Then you go on to the 35th verse. It says, cast not away, therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. Amen. Mm. Huh? That's, That's good. good. Uh, I, 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 that that I was sitting on the plane coming home from Richmond from Richmond uh, Saturday night, and while waiting for the people to get on the plane, I was just sitting there. My mind was heavy in thought of where the service I just left. So many young people uh, just put a, one of my sons in the ministry who've been with me for the about thirty two years of the workshop, and so he only had two leaders in his life that long, and. The, one of the leaders was the pastor that died, his pastor that died. So he asked me to come to install him. And so I did. And I was talking to a lady that I had not seen in a while. And she was testifying to me. She said, Bishop, the devil had my mind. So I'm trying to get out of there. And she, as I said, okay, God bless you. Well, we're going to pray for your mind. She said, but you know what, Bishop? I said, why? I, I'm doing better than I thought I was. And that hooked me in my Holy Ghost. I said, my God, woman, uh, you're one of the reasons why I'm here tonight. She said, yeah. I said, yeah, when I got in the car on the way to the airport, uh, Elder Demetrius said, what well, you so quiet for back there, bitch? I said, that woman just spoke a word. I'm doing better than I thought I was. Mm -hmm. And that stuck in my head. She said, and she went to testify, and she said she thought she was the sickest one in her family. But her sister died with a massive heart attack that was younger than her. Now she's taking care of the sister's child, one of the sister's child. She said, and all she kept saying, hot, that nine, nine, nine. I said, all right, mama, I got to get out of here. She said, I'm doing better than what I thought I was. <laughs> she walked me all the way to the car. Brian Moore said, I said, I, don't, I know her, but she was led to get the hold of me to tell me because I hadn't seen her in a minute. She said, I'm doing better. I'm, I'm back on my feet. She had a bad case of sugar and stuff like that. And I said, well, you're taking care of yourself now. She said, yes, I'm watching her. And she lost so much weight. That's another reason. Right? And she was just talking. And that's what got in my spirit. I'm doing better than what I thought I was. And sometimes um, Elder Nick and uh, Elder Kai and Elder, well, sometimes we have to think about that. We complain sometimes until we start looking. And then that night I was looking and I saw a cop going up to a guy that was laying on the floor in the in the subway. And he said, all right, you got to get up, get up. And when he pulled the cover off that guy, and all them, I saw all them rats and stuff running. Must have been, there must have been a hundred of them. I saw, they must have been eating on that man. He didn't even know it. And I just shook my head. And we complain about a lot of stuff that we should be thanking God for. It's not as bad as it seemed to be.
And I decree and declare that God wants us to have more in 24. Amen. Uh, and so what do you what is your what is your thinking on this, uh, Pastor? Uh Elder Nick, and then Elder, after that, Pastor uh Kai will come. What do you think about this? Bishop, I'm I'm looking at the signs of the time. <clears throat> and <clears throat> and is takes me by no surprise of what's going on during these days and times. I just want to hold on to the faith. I love when the scripture says, after you have been illuminated, you know, then comes your trial and your affliction. After you have been given the, the wisdom, given the understanding, given the enlightenment of the word, then comes your affliction. So that goes to self go to show me that I'm on the right path. And if I take God for anything, I'm going to take God for his word. You know, the scripture tells me and reminds me that if God be, be, be for me, there's more than the world against me. Absolutely. And, you know, and we, we just stand in during the test of time. Every word that proceeded off the mouth of God shall come to pass. You know, we eat by every word of the, that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So this is just a, a sign of the testament of God's word. Amen. Amen. Elder Kai? I'm just reminded when um, when I first got saved and I came to church, I would hear uh, Mother Nellie, she would always say, count your blessings, count your blessings, count them, count them. And I didn't understand it then, but I understand it now. And daily, I... I count my blessings every time my mind tried to go on what's wrong in my life <laughs> because our minds will take us there and our mind can literally focus on what's wrong. It's easy to focus on what's wrong, but it takes more to, it takes more discipline for you to not focus on that and think about what is good, what God has blessed you with, and being mindful that if he did it for me before, <laughs> he's definitely able to do it again. And so I I encourage you, if you're feeling, you know, really down and out, whoever you are, you got to really count your blessing. Just like Bishop made mention just now about the man sleeping on the platform and um, the rats flew out from underneath his blanket. <laughs> you can count your blessing. You got a bed to sleep in. It might be cold in your house, but you got a bed. You're not sleeping on the platform of the train. So there's just so many ways that we can really think about the blessings that God has given us. And when you become more thankful, he said that he will make you ruler over many things. He'll give you more. Amen. Um, amen. Elder, Elder Rockford? Yes, Bishop. We are just talking about this 10th chapter. He says, don't throw away your confidence because it had great reward. I was talking Sunday about how Charles Spurgeon said, you got coward faith. I looked at him and said, what do you mean by that? He said, you wasn't this coward when you was in the world. But now, you know, got saved and you got coward faith. You don't want yeah. none of your faith to be tested. Uh, uh, that's how come James says, count it all joy. Right. Mm. When you fall into divers temptation. Well, that's foolish to some people. Why would I count? Why would I thank God for what I'm going through? Because it could always be worse. He says, that's count right. it all joy when you, not, not if, I keep using that word. He says, not if, when you mm -hmm. fall in. It's not if you fall into divers temptation. It's when you fall into divers temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, trying of your faith, your faith has to be tested. So I was laughing at when I was a uh, uh, son uh, Saturday night when I was reading over Charles Spurgeon uh, commentary about this very say So many people have coward faith. Mm -hmm. That's how come he goes into the eleventh chapter of, of of Hebrews. Now faith. Whenever it is, now is now, and 10 minutes from now is going to be now. Mm -hmm. Now faith is the substance, mm -hmm. is the proof, is the evidence, is the proof, is the evidence. I mean, what, what, what kind of God would I serve if he, had, if he has not proven himself to me? 
Mm-hmm. He proven himself to me. So now faith is the Amen. of things hoped for, mm-hmm. hoped for, hoped yes. for, and the evidence mm-hmm. of things not seen. Mm-hmm. If I can see, it's not really faith. And so the apostle talks about that, and um, we thank God for His Word today. They got everybody's calling me now, and, and this is the workshop phone. But everybody's gonna have to wait till after I finish. But I, but I was just talking about that Sunday. Elder, uh, Rock mm-hmm. what's your intake on this? Well, I, I want to just go back to what you said. I'm doing better than I thought I was. Because a lot of times we, well, lately, let's just say over this weekend. A lot of things has transpired in my life. Other things has changed in my life. And I had to pray and I had to ask God, okay, God, what am I supposed to do in this situation? And at first I was looking at the situation in my own eyes, but now I see things out of the eyes of faith because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about what Paul says in Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 through 13, he says, I have learned in whatever situation I am in to be content. I know how how to be brought down low. I know how to be abound. And in every uh, circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger and abundance and need. And I can do all things through Christ with strengthening me. You know, so I mean, standing on God's word, standing on his promises, not knowing like faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I didn't see what was coming, coming, but it came. (laughs) And Lord, now it's here. So now I need you, Father God, show me the way and help me to stand on your words and your promises. I've got to be content. And I got to remember, I'm doing better than I thought I was. Come on here. Amen. So you'll put another spin on that already. You know? <laughs> I've learned the key thing you just read. I've learned, yes. and life is a learning experience. Yes, life. You don't. You'll never get to the place where you know it all. That's life right. is a learning. I keep on saying, look at the word life. L i f e. Take the L off the front of life. Take the E off the back of the life. You have two letters. If life mm-hmm. is iffy. Iffy. Like I've learned. I didn't always learn, no matter what state, I find myself to be content. Yes, you, man. listen to us today, you have to learn how to be content. I'm yeah. telling you, you can't wait for nobody to come along and make you content. Yes, Mother Maxwell, I see you, but you have to be content. You have to be content. You, you have to be content. I'm telling you, you have to be complacent with yourself. You got to have peace no matter what's going on around you. It's not going on to you. Yes. And that's the thing you got to do. I was sitting on the airplane, too. They were arguing. I just said the And when we pulled up and got uh, mm-hmm. in the air, mm-hmm. the lady tapped and said, the, the, the black airline stewardess said to me, you was not, it didn't even frighten you about what's going on. I said, baby, if I listen to what's going on around, around me, I'd be crazy. I said, nah. <laughs> all the lady did was say, excuse me. And the other lady don't want the other lady to excuse. She wants to stand all in the aisle. And the lady said, excuse me. So the line come, and then she's going to get indignant about it. I said, no, nope, I didn't. I, I, when I saw it coming, I turned it right off. I turned, because I, I cannot get involved in that. I got too much I got to do tomorrow. And I got to do what I got to do. And I got no time to get involved with that. Uh, and she just, the other day was just so with a nasty attitude. I ain't moving until I get it up there. So the the male airline still just came from the back, said, Miss, you're out of order. All you have to mm. do is slide in and let the people come by you. She was nicer to him than what she was. So it might have been a woman's thing. I don't know what kind of thing it was, but one thing I do know, I'm not getting in it. And so I just closed my <laughs> eyes and peeped out the blinds and kept looking on what's going out there. Because I, I know the devil wanted me to get involved in it. Then they be said I'd touch somebody. I ain't, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You got to learn to be content. I'm content. Yeah. Amen. I'm still thinking about what that lady told me. I'm doing better than I thought I was. Yes, and you got that. Yes. And let me tell you something. When you get it, before you get into the complaining state and fussing about everything, you got to tell yourself and look at the whole situation. Because let me tell you something. Uh, the, 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 the degrees of faith, the trying of faith, the reward of faith, 
You know what I'm saying? I just, you got to get that in your spirit. You got to get that in your mind. And that's what we got to say to ourselves. Uh, before I go any further, I want to pray for those that need to be content out the net. Let's pray for those that need to be content and whatever they're going through that's listening to us today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Is to be who you have revealed yourself to be to us, God. We thank you that you're great, oh God, than what we can ever think or imagine, God. You know all things, oh God, and you have all things subjected, oh God, to your ways, oh God. Everything, oh God, that you have said, oh God, that you have purpose, it shall be. God, we thank you, O oh God, for a peace of mind you have set in your word, Lord. Those that keep their mind stayed upon you, you will keep them in perfect peace. God, we thank you for perfect peace. And God, we thank you for trials and tribulations, because we know in you, O oh God, we are victorious. And as we go through, God, we are reminded, O oh God, we go going through, but you bringing us out. So while we go through, God, we ask that you give us the peace of mind, oh God, to stay content, Lord, and hold fast to the faith, Lord. Hold fast to your word, God. Hold fast to your promise. Because, God, we know that you're not a man, that you shall not even a son of man, that you shall repent. God, if you said it, it shall be done. And we count it as so. So help us, Lord God, to keep our minds stayed steadfast on your word, Lord God, and stay steadfast in your promise, being contenders of the faith. In Jesus' name we ask, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, man of God. And I was just this, this morning, one of the songs that came on the air, I will be content. In every circumstance, Jaiwa, you are my provider. I will be content in whatever state I am. Jaiwa, you are my provider. Uh, I like, I like, uh, what's the name song? I like Chandler. That's Brian's more son. I like Chandler singing that song. You got to, listen, you got to encourage yourself. That's walk, right. Spiritual walk. Amen. Stephanie Reed says spiritual walk is development. You better believe it. Is the deve- I've learned. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you let the devil trip you up one time, you start learning from him. You mm-hmm. start learning. You know, I'm not going. No, 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 no. I'm not, not this time. Step, I, yeah. <laughs> Peggy Myers said the Lord is a keeper. You better believe he is a keeper. Francis Dudley. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely amazing. I'm learning. You better learn, daughter. Who's that? Kia Williams. You, yeah, that's a standing on the, who's that? Somebody standing, standing on the promises. You better of Christ, my son. You better listen. These are trying time. It is, Bishop. These are trying time. Yes. And they say the devil is not waiting anymore for May the eighth to jump on you. He nope. jumping on you in January. That's how, mm-hmm. that's how come you got to know there's something great coming. And so, yeah. is it because he don't usually start this early? He usually give you a break for January, but he ain't playing. <laughs> uh, he on you now. He, he ain't playing. <laughs> he on you now. He ain't got time to play. He want to get you out the game. Mm-hmm. He want to get you out the game. But remember, one of the favorite scriptures that I love so well is Daniel, the first chapter, think of the eighth verse. But Daniel, oh, his heart. That he would not defile himself. Yes. You got the purpose. You got to know what's for you and what's not for you. You got to know what's assigned to you. That's not my assignment. That's somebody else's assignment. You got to know because he'll get you, he'll get you tricked up in assignment. Well, I'm, Jesus died to save the world and everybody ain't saved yet. Mm. Mm. That's not my assignment. You got to know what your assignment because the devil will wear you out over stuff that's not your assignment. I know everybody, I ain't meant to say that. I, I, I'm content with knowing that I'm not everybody's leader. Amen. I'm content to know that I'm not everybody's pastor. I got no problem with you. So you tell me you're not my pastor. I don't want to be your pastor. So you, that don't bother me. So you got to be content in who you are. That's not that that is not my assignment. I just went to tell to him about Bishop on my executive team a few minutes ago. That's not our assignment. That's the other people assignment. We we need to stick to the assignment that has been assigned to us, and that's the last week in February in Norfolk, Virginia. That is our assignment. That's what we need. We don't need to be talking about no over there and the West Coast. No, that's not our assignment. But they say we need to go. Don't listen today. You got to know your assignment. You got to know. Did you hear what I'm saying to you? 
you yes. have to go your assignment. I want to pray one more time. I want to pray for one more thing, and then we're going to jump on and back into this. I want to pray for family and marriage. Marriage couple, elder, elder. Where the elder clap? Okay, okay. elder, uh, elder is that there? Where you go? Where you at there? Don't switch around on me. Uh, elder, elder Kai, I want to pray for marriages. That's what I want to pray for right now. I want to pray for marriages. I want to pray for families. And I want to pray for them now. Elder Kai is going to lead us in that prayer. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and we bless you and we glorify you, God, for families and for marriages. God, we know that you started this very earth, this world, this universe as we know it with a marriage. And you're going to close it with a marriage. So we know that marriage is honorable unto you. We pray now, God, in the name of Jesus, that we would not only understand the concept of marriage, but that we would keep the vow to you, hallelujah, of marriage within the confines of our marriage. Lord God, oftentimes we stray away and, and we think these vows are made to one another, but the vow is made unto you. So help us, oh God, to keep our vows to you and to work out whatever differences that we may have. God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would open lines of communication within the marriages, God. Where one falls short, let the other one be strengthened. Oh God, let the other, Lord God, be the strength for the weakest one, Lord God. And, and when that one feels weak, let the other one build them up. But God, let them work cohesively as a unit because you said the two would become one flesh. So God, help us in the name of Jesus to stand on your principles, to stand on what you orchestrated from the very foundations of this earth, Lord God. We pray now, God, in the name of Jesus, that you not only open lines of communication, but God, if finances are in need, God, that you would make ways out of no way, God, that the families will understand the concept and the principles of giving and tithing, Lord God, so that there may be meat in your house and that they would have a window that it would be overflowing and that they wouldn't even have room to receive Lord God. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that the married couples would be able to show others, Lord God, what it means to be yes, in Lord. to be in relationship. Yes, Lord. Beyond just personal uh, relationship, but it shows, you, Lord God, how we all ought to be, Lord God, yes, Lord. bound together, Lord God, with cords that cannot be broken. Help, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that Lord. married couple that's troubled right now, Thank that God. married couple that's in distress right now, <laughs> that married couple that cannot communicate right now or don't understand, Lord God, what next move they're supposed to make. God, yes, in the name of Jesus. Open the door and make easy and successful yes. their way, God. Allow the structure of the home be as you ordained, Lord God. Let the man take the rightful place, Lord God. Give him the power. Give him the authority, Lord God, to rule well and not to be an infidel in his home, oh God. We pray over men yes, God. in the name of Jesus. Touch men worldwide, yes, God. God. Hallelujah. Touch every husband across the world, Lord God, that they would set an example, that they would be the priest, the provider, the protector. Oh, the household, Lord God, so that they can rear their children to understand yes, this concept, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, and I pray for every wife, every woman, that she would uphold her husband, yes, that she would be able to be the strength that her husband needs, oh, God. Oh, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that every woman would make their home a place, Lord God, where their husband can rest his head, yes, where the husband, Lord God, can find safety and refuge, Lord God. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we not mix up our roles, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that we would, we would assume the position, Lord yeah. God, that you've given unto us, Lord God, from the very foundations of this earth, oh God, that every woman would be in her place as a wife, Lord Jesus, and that she would have the eyes and the desire just 
for her husband, Lord God. Let Amen. her husband, Lord God, be a home of peace. Let her children, Lord God, fear you, oh God. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that the homes be, Lord God, what you have ordained it to yes, be. God. We are in a world right Amen. now, God. We're in a dispensation, Lord God, when the home, the household is broken. Oh my God, the household is torn apart. Help us, Lord God, yes, God. to be able to work things out and to work it out together. Let us not be selfish, Lord Jesus, thinking about our own self, but Lord God, to think about one another, oh Father. And Father, we pray, God, that you would just cause the family to be together, Lord Jesus. Oh my God, this is the time where the family has to be with you. This is the time where the family has to be in the church, Lord God. Help us, oh God, to bring the household, Lord God, the homes into the church, Lord God. For God, you have given families, Lord God, a, a, a plan and a blueprint for the world to see what you have orchestrated and designed for what will be in the heavens. So we pray, Lord God, in the name of of Jesus for every oh my God I pray for that young man that young man that's out in the street right now. Oh my God, whose mom is not there for him, whose father is not there for him. I pray for that young girl, Lord God, who's seeking love places, oh God. God, embrace them, Lord God. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, bring the family unit together, Lord God, as Amen. never before. Strengthen us, Lord God, as never before, God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we want to do it right. We yes, want to do it on. Right. Yes, Lord. Lord. We want to do it, Lord God, in the way, Lord God, that we know is going to please Amen. you, not us. Oh God, Father, we pray, hallelujah, that the family, say God, would be forgiving. Yes, God. For that person who's offended within the family, Lord God, help us to forgive. Help us to forgive, oh God. Oh God, help us to be responsible in every area that we need to be responsible for, God. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that your will be done in our homes. That your will be done in our households. That your will be done within us. Oh God, even in me, God, help me to do what I need to do, God, concerning my own family, Father, concerning my household, Lord God, concerning my marriage, Lord God, help me to be able to show the way to someone who is lost, someone who don't know the way, someone who wants, Lord God, proper guidance, God. And so, God, we thank you for what you're doing. We're believing you, Lord God, that on tonight as we touched and agree, God, even those who are touching and agreeing with us virtually, Lord God, that households are going to begin to come together, that families are going to be reignited, that families are going to be strengthened, that marriages are going to be strengthened, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you. And thank we thank you for what you're about to do and that the manifestation Hallelujah. will be seen here yes. and now. Hallelujah. Not in the by and by, but here and now. Yes. So we thank you and thank we glorify you. you for doing it in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, thank, thank you for the prayer. We thank you for the prayer. Be encouraged. I was sharing with somebody just this week that... um. Uh, the most important decision you have to make is decision not to give up. The most important decision that one would have to make is not to give up. There's enough that comes and there's enough that the devil throws at us to surely make us give up if we don't count up the cost. Yes. Uh, don't give up because you're too close. Yes. You've come too far. You've been through hell and high water don't give up god is getting ready to elevate you and i want to make you sure to hold on till your change come the same god who blessed you before is the same god who will bless you right now god Amen. is going to make a way out of no way yes, god Lord. is healing your body god is delivering you 
God is delivering your children. God is breaking the chain of addiction. Yes. God is breaking the cycle of abuse. Yes, God. God is setting you free for there is no one like our God, unknown writer. That's one of the things that, and I just got that because I looked at, I think it's Mother Maxwell that talked about abuse relationship. But I want to let you know, you can't give up. It's too uh -uh. early in the game. It's too early. In, this is January. I'm telling you, you've been through too much last year to get you through first. I know, that's right. I'm uh -huh. telling you. And you just, it, it's how you perceive something. And everybody's dealing with something somewhere along the line. But I want to tell you today, again, don't give up. Well, can, can we have a copy of this? Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure you get a copy of this. I got to write it. I got a lot of scribble on it. I'm going to unscribble it and, <laughs> and make sure it'll be on our page. But it just says, you're too close. You're too close to give up. You have come too far. You've been through hell and high water. You can't give up now. I God can't. is not ready. God is ready to elevate you. Promotion. Oh, oh. Your greatest promotion is always before a great storm. That's right. Mm. And uh, I was preaching a certain, well, I'm kind of narrated the other day, uh, how to be steady in a storm. You got mm. to know how to be steady when everything around you is shaking. I like that, Bishop. You got mm -hmm. to be steady in a storm, steady in a storm, because it's going to come. It's going to come into each life. Some rain must fall. So you got to be steady in a storm. Stop asking why me. Who would you prefer to happen to? <laughs> you know, <laughs> why me? Why now? Well, when do you want to have? You don't want to deal with it now? You want to deal with it in March? You know, it's always, why me? Well, okay. I'm just saying, you know, I don't, those little things don't even bother me no more. What usually bothers somebody is who he used to do it. Yeah, yes, oh, I, said, well, I, I expected to come from them. I was depending on them. Uh, uh, one, of the one of the sheets of paper that somebody reminded me of today was the paper that I gave out a couple of weeks ago, Faith versus Fear. Faith huh. versus Fear. It's a challenge. The trying of your faith. I don't understand why the trying, anything you try, everything got to be tested. The car you drive had to be tested before it went to the car lot. Everything you got has to be tested. Your refrigerator, everything has to go through a test My God. before it's released. So what makes you think your faith? Woo. What makes you think your faith don't have to be tested? You, you get up and sing good songs and pray good prayers, but not everything has to be tested. Again, and somebody said, you always come up with sayings. I ain't coming. It's true. You have to feed your faith and starve your doubt. Get down. You got to feed your faith, and faith coming by hearing. Well, there's nothing complicated about this. And, and, and what uh, mother said, you said that real good Sunday. Uh, he says, "I'll keep your mind in perfect peace." Yes. Now, so the, see, I'm, God said, "I got the hardest part. The hardest part in this this verse here is keeping your mind, because your mind is a tricky resource." He mm. said, "I'll keep your mind." And perfect peace, but you got to do one thing. You have to keep your mind on me. Stay it on. Well, how, how I keep my mind, go on flipping, whatever things are true, whatever things of good report, whatever things that goes on. Said if there be any good of a good report, that's what you dwell on. Think on them. Yes. 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 It's he's God. The the blueprint has already been fulfilled. All we got to do is go through with it. All we got to do is deal with it. There's no mystery about this. You got again. It says in Luke, Luke twenty one twenty six. Man's heart is failing him for fear. Man's heart is failing them for fear. What did John fourteen say? Let not your heart be troubled. The key word Maxwell said is you letting it. You let. <laughs> That's what John Maxwell. John Maxwell says the key word in let not your heart be troubled is that whatever whatever way your heart is troubled, you let it. Because I've given you what you need to suffice enough to go through it. Let not your heart be troubled. It's gonna come. It's gonna, come. It's gonna happen. But you cannot afford to let your heart be troubled. I'm praying for you, Sister Pat. Uh, Sister Peggy told me about your situation down in North Carolina, your challenges with cancer. 
we believe God with you. We stand in the gap. In fact, in fact, and in, in fact, in, uh, uh, Elder, Elder Towns, let's pray for those that are sick. Let's tune in right now uh, because I've had three or four people that's dealing with this this cancer, this spirit. But Sister Peggy, um, it's told, and it was all she said it was all right to tell me, and I can announce it. Cause you got to ask people now. I don't want no problem with nobody. Mm-hmm. But now I want you to pray for uh, Pat. She's be over. She used to work with the junior ushers. She used to work okay. with the junior ushers, and she moved down there. So Peggy, but let's pray for this cancer spirit and all the sickness. Elder. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. Lord, this is the day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, your ways are not our ways, and your thoughts are not our thoughts. Father, we want to give you thanks. We want to give you glory, and we want to give you honor just for being God all by yourself. Lord, we thank you for being our healer on tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, your word said you was wounded for our transgressions. You was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon you. And with your stripes, we are healed. Lord, you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You are the same God that raised Lazarus from the dead. You are the same God that healed a woman who had the issue of blood for 12 long years. Lord, she tried everything, but Lord, she touched the hem of your garment, and because of her faith, she was made whole. Thank you. Father, we stretch out our faith on tonight, right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, those that are dealing with lung cancer, stomach cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, ovarian cancer, oh God, any form of cancer in the body now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we bring it up before your throne right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord, you specialize in things that seem impossible, and you can do what no other power cannot do. Now, Father, we know some have to go through radiation and chemo, but Lord, you can still work miracles, signs, and wonders. And Father, we pray right now in your name that you will bind this cancer spirit that's in the air oh god and lord even in the food that we eat oh god bind every sickness bind every disease bond every infirmity now in the name of the lord jesus lord for healing is the children's bread yes. and lord we thank you for thank your you. healing power we thank you thank for you. your healing anointing in the name of the lord jesus yes, lord. lord you said that we shall prosper and be in good health yes we lord as i was so prosper and father we thank you for being our healer yes, not God. only heal us lord but make us whole hallelujah make us whole oh god internally and externally in the name of the lord jesus we pray for sister pat now yes, in the name of the lord jesus oh god those that are connected to her connected to her we actually got to give her the strength give them strength in the name of the lord jesus and father you said in your word yes lord when you have tried us we shall come forth as gold thank you for the process sickness is not unto death we bind death now in the name of the lord jesus we thank you right now we thank you we praise you in advance in the name of the lord jesus lord and all that we do and all that we say and everything that we have to face we give you glory we give you honor and we give you worship in the mighty name of the lord jesus father we know there's nothing too hard for you and we set our affection on things above oh god every sickness oh god belongs to you and we thank you for dying on the cross for every disease and every infirmity hallelujah Mm. in the name of jesus and lord we actually touch the red blood cells (laughs) yes god touch the white blood cells yes lord oh god Touched our immune system. Yes, Touched the immune system, Lord. The blood in the of Jesus. Name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And we come against every side effect. Yes, Hallelujah. God. 
of every treatment. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We yeah. come against every side effect. Yes, Lord. Those that are on high blood pressure pills. Yes, Those God. that are taking pills for diabetes. Hallelujah. For your power and a fear anointing, oh God. Yeah. Those that are taking yeah. any metaphor form of more form of medication. We come against every side yes, effect. Oh God, in the name of the Lord Thank Jesus, you, Lord. Father, let this year be the year for the saints. Hey, yes. that you will heal, deliver, set free, yeah, and I'm make good. whole. Those Thank that are watching right now under the sound of my voice, yes. take them off that medication one by yes. one. Take them off that medication one by one. We come against swelling. We come hey, against fluid. We come against yes, lupus God. and leukemia. Yes, and Father, yes, I Lord. pray right now for the body of Christ everywhere that's been a, a, attacked with bacterial respiratory system Jesus. issues, oh God. Bronchitis, oh God. We ask you to heal, deliver, set free, yes. and make whole. Lord, you are the God of the air. You created the rivers, the seas, and the oceans. Lord, protect us. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord, those that are watching, protect yes. us. Protect yes, us, Jesus. protect us, protect yes, us, Jesus. protect us, Holy One, Hallelujah. protect us, our majesty, protect us, our redeemer, yes, protect us, Jehovah's Jireh, Jehovah's Jireh, yes, Lord. Lord, El Shaddai, El El yes, Lord. protect Lord. us, yes, you Lord, in your word when you see the blood, you will pass yes, over, yes, Lord, let no sickness Lord. come to our house, let no disease come yes. to our house, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. And Lord, while we're even on hallelujah, I thank you for your power now. Mm -hmm. While we're fasting, uh, bah, bah, bah. While we're praying, and while we're yes, consecrating. God. Yes. Oh God, thank you for healing us. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. For healing us in the mighty name hallelujah. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, as we're fasting, you said these cards cometh out. But yes. by prayer yes. and fasting, ha, shout yes. Torah by ha. And Lord, those that are dealing with mental illness, Lord, I feel your anointing. Lord, I pray for those that are watching whose loved ones are dealing with sickness of mental illness, depression, and oppression. They're being attacked by Satan, oh God. Bind the devil now, bind the enemy in the name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus. Christ. Oh God, we call on the Archangel Michael to fight yes, and war God. on our behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now you. for what you're doing through this Facebook Live. Somebody is feeling oh. your power. Somebody yes, feel your presence. Thank Somebody you. feel your anointing. Thank Somebody you, God. is feeling your touch of healing. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let this prayer of healing go into the atmosphere. Yes, let God. this prayer of healing go throughout this Facebook Live. Let yeah. this prayer of healing Hallelujah. go through every bedroom, every bathroom, every basement, yeah. Yeah. Every Every attic, every car, yes. oh God, in the yes, name Lord. of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Lord, we you are keep army our God. bodies strong. Keep our yes, bodies God. healed in the name of Jesus. Yes. And Father, I ask you, oh God, to give us wisdom yes, how Jesus. to take care of our bodies. Hallelujah. Lord, you said anyway, we shall present our body the living sacrifice, holy and acceptable yes. unto us, oh God. Which is our reasonable service. Yes, and Lord, help us to drink more water. Help us to take vitamins. Yes. yes Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I come against blood clots. I come against tumors and strokes yes. and pneumonia, the flu, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I ask your God that move by your power, by your spirit, and more. Let the words of my mouth and the better tears of my heart be accepted. I say, Lord, you are our strength. And you are my redeemer. Now unto him was able to do it seed and abundantly above all that we can act. So think according to the power that worketh in us. Lord, we give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. And Father, look on your servant, Bishop Jameson. Yes, yes Lord. God. Look on your servant, Bishop Jameson. Continue yes, to strengthen Lord. his body. Yes, Lord, I fear anointing. Simple, God. Continue to strengthen him from the crown of his head to the very sole of his feet. In the name of the Lord yes, Jesus, Lord. we pray. Hallelujah. Thank God yes, for Lord. the healing. And thank, you thank you for restoration you, Lord. to his and body. Receive you. Thank you for restoration we to his lungs. That we was thank said tonight. you for the Amen. God bless you, man of God. Amen. 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 Well, I see my Carolinians are on this phone today. I see 
Atkinson, and I see uh, the Goldsmiths. I see my cousin. I see all of them on tonight. Colleen, and thank you. Uh, I, I got a word just a few minutes ago that was snowing in um, in, uh, in Lynchburg, Virginia. Elder Bishop Willis said it's snowing there. I said it's snowing in the mountains. He started saying, yes, sir. God bless you, sister Patricia. All my friends from uh, uh, from Carolina's Cole Smiths and and Atkinson. <laughs> no, I see all y'all on this line. God bless you. God bless. It must be snowing there too. Lord Jesus, I got so many kind of My cousin received all. My cousin received all today, uh, Elder Kyle. My cousin, I told her, she said that one of her girlfriends were there when the Packers came. So she had to split it with her. And so she said, I'm going to sell it to her. I said, no, 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 no. I didn't, we didn't sell it to you, so you can't sell it to her. We'll send you some more. Don't do that. Though. I want to get out of the know. Amen. We don't want to sell that. Amen. But my cousin, she had breast, both breasts removed. And that's Ricky's oldest sister. Y'all might know my cousin Ricky. That's uh, Ricky. He used to belong to our church. He used to be over, uh, belong to our church years ago. Um, moved back down south. But that's his oldest sister. We're, I think we're a year apart. I think she's older than me by you, but that's that's how she had her breast removed uh two two months ago, but she's doing good. And so uh we sent her some all I thought I was sending some all and her girlfriend was with her today and uh and one and she gave her girlfriend and then she the girlfriend said she's gonna sell hers. I said, No, 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 we don't do that. We don't do that. You go to the you go to the drugstore, get you some oil and sell that. Don't sell ours. We believe ours. But listen, you can write us for some oil. This is the beginning of the year. It's a sacrifice. I know and people say, well, when you tell them that, Bishop, they take all the oil. Well, we'll, we'll replenish it. I don't want to never be guilty of not blessing the people. And we can't put a and we and we just can't put a tag. So that's what I tell them. It's our trustee Walker. All the time, just if y'all ain't got it in the mission, just let me know and I give it out of my pocket because I believe. But it was just good that you know, uh, my friend Elder, uh, Elder uh, from uh, Las Vegas, Elder White, his wife was in the hospital, they bought her out of the hospital and brought her back home because they said she's improving. And that's the one I told you I need some of all for the elders in Las Vegas, yeah, man. And so, you know. <laughs> I said his deacon board came by to see him and he anointed all the deacons. I said the all was for your wife, man of God, not for the deacon board. He said, I need me some more of that all. I said, Amen. We pray over the all. We believe God for the all. One of the scriptures I need you to put in your diary and something that you need to practice is the book of Jude. I want to tell everybody that's under the sound of my voice that your faith is under attack. Yes. Your faith. Yes. I was just, I just, I knew it was somewhere I had it here somewhere. I couldn't find it because I just found a piece of paper here now about Jude. And I believe it was, uh, uh, yeah, that third verse talked about contending for the faith. Oh, contending elder, for the faith. Yeah, Elder, Elder, oh. Elder, Elder Terrence, they did that watch night about faith, about faith. But I want to add something to it. Your faith is under attack. The devil is telling God, you're not going to go through it. And God is telling the devil, they will go through it. Your faith is under attack. You yeah. put it, you put it that contending for the faith. You got to fight for this faith. Yeah. It, don't come overnight. It, 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 has, it, it has great recompense of reward. Your faith is under attack. And that's how you got to look at it. Because you don't belong to you, but you belong to God. And there come a time you got to tell the devil, I don't belong to me. I belong to God. That's how come you got to run this race that is set before us. You got you can't walk this now, baby. Should I what should I do? Run. See. <laughs> I was telling somebody coming out the uh, out of the church uh 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 Saturday. Told the young fellow that said, Now you know God used you in Greensboro. Yes, sir, but I see you hanging around too many people, you better run. He looked at me and said, Bishop, you hurt my feelings. I said, I, I'd rather hurt your feelings than I'll let you get tricked by the devil. God done right. healed you from AIDS. They see no trace of it. See. No trace of it. He lives in North Carolina. You see no trace of it. 
Now, I see you now. When you were seeking God for your healing, you was healing around, you was hanging around positive people. But now you done healed you around about two years ago. You done got your weight, weight back. You don't look sick no more. And now all those same people coming around you again. Run. Run. Mm. You're in a race, son. You, you're in a, when you're in a race, you can't be walking to my, I'm on my way to my race. If you're in the race, you better be running. And that's how it is, brothers and sisters. Your faith is under attack. You got to run this race. You got to run in 12, the Hebrews 12. You got to run this race that is set before you. Come on, you're on your way somewhere. And when you're on your way somewhere, you can't take everybody with you. Nope. Some people just want to go to go with you for the ride. No, we're not taking no rides. We had a one seater. No rides. No rides. Yeah. Uh, no rides. We don't know we that. No, no, no rides. Because those people will use you. And then when you get sick again, they all was talking about you. And none of them wanted to be around you. None of them wanted to be around you. They all talked about you. And the reason I know they talked about you because they came to me and wanted to know, is he going to live or die? I said, I don't hear death. I don't hear nothing Amen. about that. I hear life concerning him. I went to the hospital to see him on one of my visits. And I went to the hospital to see him. And I heard nothing. I ain't hear nothing about no death. I saw the angels fighting on his behalf. Amen. And I believe in that. I you always believe in what you want to believe in. I believe there's angels that have been assigned to all of us that fight on our behalf. When we can't Amen. fight for ourselves, when we align between life and death, you they're, they're fighting for telling you're going to live, you're going to make. I don't care what the odds are. I don't care. But I had no visitors in a week. Good. Thank God you didn't have no visitors. Because the wrong visitors kept coming up there, sitting on the side of the bed, talking about this and that. No, no. You need some people that can feed into your spirit. And listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, people can't grow with you. They don't need to go with you. It can't grow with you. We're growing together. Don't let me grow by myself and you come on and get on the gravy train, no. If you can't grow with me, no, you should go with me. We have to separate. And he says in the book of Jude, contending for the faith, because I didn't want to get into this, but he said, there are certain men who creeped in. How did they get here? The next verse said, and Jude, they said, and they creeped in. Certain men. They only believed the Bible up to the law, L-A-W, but they didn't believe God all the way into the new revelation. Uh, they believe the law. When the law said, and I, I, we're not talking about the LAW now. We are out of the Old Testament. We're into the New Testament now. He said, and they creeped in. Keep preaching that old doctrine to you. And I'm trying to preach deliverance to you. And you keep preaching, letting them come. They, they mean well, but they're, but they're under the old tradition. They're under the old tradition, and he says, and he says in this word, but there are certain men that creep in unaware who were before the old ordinance. They creeped in. Well, I guess ain't no use it. We better leave them alone because they got the red dust in front of their door. Okay, you see, they, they believe in that LAW. See, well, I, don't, I don't care nothing about no rich doctor, I don't care about no sorcery reader, I don't care nothing about none of them people. We're not afraid of other people because we got the Holy Ghost. So that's like Amen. Yeah, if you read Acts, you got to keep on reading because the Holy Ghost set upon them, but you need the Holy Ghost to do more and set upon you. You need the Holy Ghost in you. And see, when you got the Holy Ghost in you, you become fearful. Oh, I, I ain't getting in that fight. You better go, sister, so and so, because them demons are up there. I ain't afraid of no demon, no devil, and nothing else. That's what I'm saying. Uh, well, you know they're from South Carolina. What that means? What that mean? They're quick to tell where you're from. So that means they're signifying that they're from South Carolina, believing them, them things, you know, the saucer. And I ain't scared of none of them people. You know what I'm saying? And they, 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 I, this, I just ain't got the sense enough to be afraid of none of them. And they, but they got, they took they took your sock and they're going, how did they get your sock? What you doing with your sock off? Well, they, they, got that, they got your handkerchief. You can't find your hat? No. Okay. Sister Luda Bow show got your hat. And when Sister Luda Bow finishes with you, you're going to be bald-headed. See, y'all believe in that kind of stuff. I don't believe in that. Now, I do believe the devil got power, but God has all power. And I believe that God is the devil's boss. Now, that's where I am with that. That's my stand. But you don't believe? I told you what I just believe in. 
that part that two time talking to me. I don't believe in none of that stuff. Well, I tell you what, you mess with Sister Do I'm not messing with her. You mess with her. They creeped in unaware. They had a form of godliness, but denying the real power of the earth. Yeah, the devil got power, but God has all power, and that's my belief in my soul. Well, my, my sister so and so got a touch of it, and she ain't never been the same with sister so and so until she left her alone. I'm not believing in none of that. He said there was of the old ordinance. And when you study that, and Charles Spurgeon said the old audience, you know, the, the old audience, they believe you, he cut me, I cut you. And I for an eye, two for two. Well, we believe in that philosophy, and I for an eye, and a two for two. If we keep believing in this, then everybody's going to be walking around blind, blind and snack or two. You can't, I mean, you got to go beyond that. No weapon. I believe in that. I believe in all of that. I believe in all of that. He says, your faith is under attack. In this day and time, you got to watch who you hang out with. Surround yourself with. I'm not saying you don't talk to them. Praise the Lord. How you doing? But this everyday conversation, we, we that was last year. I can't go into a new year with you. That's right, Bishop. I'm talking about I know now the devil don't play no games. Who said that? Yeah, you're right, Pat. The devil don't play no games. Who is this? Is this? Bishop, the devil is real. Yeah, but I'm, we don't want to talk no more about the devil. He He's real, but we want to give God the praise. <laughs> oh, oh, sha, na, 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 na. See, we want to give God the praise because God is, is the, he's Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. They tried to kill John, but he made it off the aisle. And guess what? They're trying to kill you, but you got to make it off your aisle. I'm trying to encourage you. You got to hold fast to the profession of your faith. I just read that hold fast, hold fast. People have the misconception that walking by faith means that you are able to glide there. No, you got to fight the good fight sometimes. You got to tell the devil, I'm not dying now. You go here where you got to go. I'm not dying. I didn't die last year, and I'm not dying this year. Whoever want to die and whoever want to feel sorry, like I told Dow, can't feel sorry for yourself, son, because that's the first trick of the enemy is to make you feel sorry. I didn't die. You couldn't take my life last year. And guess what? You can't take my life this year because I'm going all the way with God. I'm going all the way with God. I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you. Be careful out there. That black ice is nothing to play with. That black ice mm -hmm. is nothing to play with. You be careful. I'm telling you, when you break these bones now, it takes you a long time to heal. Amen. So be careful out there. And I look at those that come to my uh, this class, and they're, my God, Lord, they're, they're young people. There are so many young people that broke their ankles, that broke their legs in football and stuff. And, Lord, it's, it's just getting crowded. I said, Lord, is there ever going to heal these people? Lord Jesus Christ, be careful. Take your time. Then let them, let them go in front of you. Because, because you, if you have an accident, you, you're going to get there late anyhow and with a messed up car. So you got, I tell my sons all the time, when you drive, you're driving for everybody out on that road. You got to be careful. Somebody want to go by you, let them go on, stop, let them go by you. Because if you have an accident, you got, you got to deal with the insurance company. It's just the aggravation that you ain't got insurance. Now, maybe they don't have insurance, but be very careful out there. And we want to thank God today for what God is doing. I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you in this month. We are uh, turning down our plate. Uh, everybody's asked to mix to miss a meal. That's the next level where we at. Everybody is asked to miss a meal. I want you to be led. You're mature enough. You're mature enough to to to, to miss a meal. I believe God in this time. And like I said Sunday, somebody said, Bishop, you convicted me. Well, I don't want to convict you. I just want to teach you. I want to teach you, don't, don't, don't play with your money with God. You give God your first fruits. You give God your first fruits. I don't care what they say. You believe that if you want. Okay, you believe. Keep listening to them. You listened to them last year, you ain't got nowhere. Come on here. Amen. Trust God with your finance. Uh, there are 38 parables, and more than half of them deal with stewardship. Manage your money. I'm telling you today, trust God with your finance, miss this meal. We just came off of three things. Did I ask you what we just come off of? I know what we just come off with. You start, so that's that devil in your mind. You need to miss a meal. Come on here. Come on here. Miss this meal. Miss this meal. Take a, whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, miss this meal. You believe whatever he said. Listen, leave them people alone. 
Anybody that keep knocking the ministry and keep knocking what is said in the ministry, you leave alone because they need their own church. Come on here. Amen. Come on here. Amen. They, they, they need their own place. Stop. You got to pay your own rent. Find a building so you pay your own rent. Amen. Amen. Hey, I'm saying to us today, because I believe uh, we ain't never did this before. Did I ask you that? We ain't never fought the demons that we're fighting now. We never fought the spirit that we are fighting now. I've just asked, yeah, we went on a three day. And yes, they laughed at me. Everybody up there eating, everybody up there eating steaks and sandwiches and stuff Sunday, Saturday in the airport. I just had my little soup. Lord help me with the soup. Oh God. I said, God, let this soup be real good and it tastes better. It tastes good. I don't like Applebee's, but that was the only thing open in the airport. And I took this little Applebee's soup and I prayed over it and it tastes good too. Lord Jesus. And I took my <laughs> I took my pills and went to sleep. Soon I got on that plane. I got no time to play with these people. The devil get you off what you know you're supposed to go in. Amen. I want to invite you. I'm serious about the the signs of the time, the signs of the time. God, uh, let the ministry flourish more. Father, let the ministry go forth more. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want to be able to say like Paul says in Second Timothy four and seven, I fought a good fight. I finished my cause and I've kept the faith. Help us, Father, to keep the faith. Help us to keep the faith. It gets rough, but we kept the faith. We were down, we were up, we was out. But God, we thank you for helping us keep the faith. We love you now, and we praise you. I'm glad to see the grippers back. Well, I don't know if they're back, but I'm glad to see them on your back. For a hot minute. Yes, yeah, yes, we are. Okay, uh, when well you when well you got uh, you put Elder the bed already, Pastor the bed. Already? No, he um was a little uh, tired. He said he was okay. up and did morning prayer, and then we came out of the mountains back to the city today. Okay, he's been in the snow. We've been carried through the snow. I want y'all to know he ain't do no walking, but anyway, he's tired. So. <laughs> They're always tired. <laughs> Lord, that was it. Yeah, joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Yes, Lord. That God, that travel of mercy brought them back. Amen. Let's thank God for that. And saints, let us run the race that is set before us. You have to run your own race. Get in timing with God. Get in timing with God. Get in timing with God. And I thank God again for all of the elders that are on. Uh, we're not worried about who's not on. We thank God for who's on. I try to send the word out. To all the elders, I want to at least try to get seven on. So what is it? Six of us on. So I really need to get one more, two more on, so the people can see that we have other people besides uh, me. I don't want you to be riding by the church on Sunday, seeing my car there. Come on here. I want you to be comfortable. Whoever's ministering, <laughs> well, because you know they ride by. Is he here today? No. I want you to get content with what God placed in the house. I said I want you to be content. With what, what God placed in us. And so I want us to get to that place. I want us to get that place that uh, we are content. And again, thank you. Amen. Don't forget this Sunday, uh, we're, we're, we're taking time uh, to bless our lady, uh, D. And so we thank God for her. And we bless God for all of you. Everybody tonight that can see their $10 offer tonight, I need you to send a $10 offer and see their 10 If it meant anything to you, if it didn't, don't worry about it. But if it meant anything to you, because I need to, you know, uh, we spend a lot of money with all and stuff like that. But I want us to bless and do what we need to do. And all of that falls under the uh, mission time. So I need you to do that. Elder Teresa, would you lead us out in prayer? Did she, did she Father, we thank you and okay, bless she's you. Okay, on me. Okay. Uh -huh. We magnify your most holy name. We thank you for tonight, oh God. We thank you that you saw fit to allow us to be on this live and to be on Facebook. We ask that everyone that participated, everybody that was on the Facebook, that you bless them abundantly, oh God. I declare that every word that was spoken, every scripture, every prayer has fell on good ground. And we're waiting it to be watered by you, O oh God, so that it can flourish and be fruitful and multiply. Now protect everyone, O oh God, everything that's attached to them, everything that is connected to them. 
We thank you that the demons have no power over us, that you are all powerful. So tonight, God, we just tell you that we love you and we thank you. May you um, cause your face to shine upon us. And may you give yes, us Lord. May you be gracious unto us, O oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you, Prophet Allen. I just see you, Prophet Allen and Mother Allen. Uh, your old pastor, I see them mm -hmm. on tonight with us. I didn't recognize your name. God bless and all of you that are on. Bless you, Dr. Ross from Ohio. Bless you. God bless you. See everybody Sunday. God bless. God bless.